Hey guys, uh, Steve here for iPhone New Zealand and um, as promised today we're going to have a look at um, iMovie for the iPhone 4. Um, I'm going to show you, give you a quick walk through about what it's like to use. We're going to go through the things that you can do, the things that you can't do and um, just give you a general feel for what it's going to be like. So when you first open iMovie, uh, this is the screen you'll see. Um, the icons at the bottom in the bar are greyed out for now because you can't do anything with those icons until you've actually created a project. So the first thing you need to do is create a project and to do that you hit the plus button and then it will ask you to choose a theme um, and there's a, I think five to choose from. You've got modern, travel, bright, playful and news. And um, what I thought I'd do is show you how I made the one that was in my iPhone 4 review video. So that was made with the uh, travel theme. So we'll select that. And then we've got four icons on the screen here and none of them are particularly well explained. So I'll just explain what we've got here. The one on the top left here which looks like a, a page with a star on it takes you back to the previous screen so that takes you to the menu where you get to pick which project you're working with. Uh, this icon here with the down arrow is where you access all of the media that's stored on your iPhone so your movies, your music and your photos. This icon here is um, to play so once you've actually finished editing your uh, video you can press that button to play it and this icon here is to um, record new media specifically for iMovie. Down the bottom is um, the timeline which is obviously empty at the moment. So the first thing we're going to do is add some media. So I'll tap the media button and you'll see down the bottom we have video, photos and music. So and you just scroll up and down to see your video clips. So I've got two pieces of video that I'm going to work with here. I've got um, they're both taken on Cathedral Square. Um, the first one I'm going to use is this shot here. That will pop it on to the timeline. So to use the timeline you just scroll left and right with your finger. Um, up above here you will see a, a preview of where the red line on this timeline is currently. Now if I wanted to make just a regular run of the mill movie where it's just a series of clips put together, I could go to the end of the current timeline, hit the media button again and uh, put in just another video clip. But what I want to do is um, put a title on this video clip and to do that I double tap the video clip and this will bring up a clips setting page. And you'll see here we've got tile style, location and audio. So tile style lets you pick between the style of um, title that you're going to overlay onto this video. And um, under this theme there's three types of tile. You've got opening, middle and ending. Now although it would seem that um, they're going to put a title at the beginning or the middle or the end of the clip it's actually going to overlay the title across the whole clip all these are referring to is the, is the uh, style of the title so for example opening one looks a little like the preview up here the middle one looks like that the ending one looks like that so because this is the, the opening we'll go with opening and we'll go back to clip settings and in location, um, iMovie uses your GPS location uh, to say at the beginning of the clip where this video was taken. It, you can see here it says Christchurch. If it's got it wrong, you can um, press other and manually tell it where the video is taken. Um, audio, um, so for this, we'll leave it on. I believe this audio is talking about the audio of the clip. I'll have to double check on that there. So we'll go done. And now you'll see just here it says title text here. So if I double tap that, or rather 
Ooh, yeah, just tap it once. And uh, now it brings up the keyboard and um, I can type in whatever I want. So I'll put in cathedral. Oops. Square. Now, one thing you can't do is uh, you can't change the font in there or you, and you can't reposition it. It's pretty much gives you the opportunity to um, change what it says and that's it. And you'll see that um, it's quite rightly pointed to Christchurch on a little map there, which is kind of neat. So what we can do now, if you want, is you can actually just preview this section of the video by tapping the play button up here. Yeah. And as I thought, that has left in the video sound, which I don't actually want. So I'm going to double tap that. I'm going to switch audio off and go back. Now, this little cog right at the beginning of the clip here, if you tap on that, will bring up, once again, it will bring up the theme settings. But you'll see here there's an option for theme music. And I'm going to put that on. And go done. Now when I play it back, it's overlaid it with some music that relates to this specific thing. Okay, so now what we want to do is insert um, perhaps some photos at this point. So we'll go back to the uh, media selection screen and we'll change the bottom bit to photos. And uh, so I'm going to go into my Christchurch test shots roll and I'm going to pick this picture here and it's now inserted that on the timeline if I tap it um, it tells me up here that this picture is going to be shown for two seconds and I think that's a little bit short so I'm going to drag that with my finger until it's got the amount of time I want four seconds now the other thing here that you'll need to control is the start and end zooming position of the of the actual photo it uses the Ken Burns type effect so by default if I press end it's going to end up here and start it's, it's the same so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to go be down and then by the end of it I want to have zoomed in and up to the top of the cathedral. So I hit done. And now if I go drag the timeline back here and hit play. There we go. So that gives you a preview of what it's going to do. And then we'll put in one more photo. Yeah, now again it's done two seconds and I want four. Four seconds. So at the start, I'm going to be down here at the base of the statue. And at the end, I want to be right here at the top. And we'll just give that a quick preview. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now the other thing that I can do um, is I can edit the type of transition between the two pictures. You'll notice um, that by default it's a sort of a cross dissolve. Like that. If I want something else I can tap on it. In fact double tap and that will bring up some different options. So I can have none, cross dissolve or one that's specific to the theme which I quite like the idea of. And I'm going to say I want it to last for two seconds. So now it's going to look something like this. There we go. Okay, and so the last thing that I need to do is insert my last clip. So I'm just going to hit the media button. I'm going to find the other clip, which I'm just going to insert there. And I'll put a title on it. So this time we'll go for the ending style title, and which draws up like a, a postcard overlay. And 
just put, since it's supposed to look like a, Christ, uh, a postcard, I will make it appear as such. There we go. Done. And we'll just quickly give that a quick preview. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Now, uh, once I've, I'm happy, I can go back to the main page, and if I want to, I can hit this play button to watch it from beginning to end. And once I'm, uh, you know, once I'm happy overall, I can tap this button down here, and this gives me my uh, options for exporting the file. And uh, I think I want it as an HD file, so I'll, I'll tap that. So I guess let's take a look at the finished product.